Let me get set up here. What's going on? Turn that off. All right. Hey guys, girls, what's happening to your products? I, I know, hey? No expense spared. I wrote that number two myself. Did you see that? Hey guys, uh, what's going on, Jess? Legend. Mate, uh, here we are. Episode two, guys. I just want to kick off uh, to say um, big thanks. Big thanks. Episode one I did last week on Monday night. I'm going to try and do, obviously, a regular thing. Crikes, how are you, champion? Um... Simon Kreiger, Adrian Christian, you're a legend, mate. Let's be honest. Good to have you all on. Johnny Jeremy, catch you next time, man. Nice shirt, yeah, man. Hey, actually, I did have to just do a quick change because I, uh, I had a shirt on and I checked and I'm like, hmm, shit, that's the same one I wore last week. Repping HTP again, so uh, I had to change. These are the first world problems, hey. You gotta, uh, you gotta check that out. Can't wear the same shirt. Jeez Louise, two weeks in a row. So, uh, Dean Ferris, Kane McKay, Holtzy, part of the Bush Ranger team. Impressive star. You like that, Rish? Not as good as, uh, yeah, anyway. Hey, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll have a bit of a chat again tonight. Uh, but, well, as I said before, thanks very much for all the feedback. Uh, it was, it's something, like I said, it's something I've been trying to uh, think about doing for a couple of years now. And uh, we gave it a bit of a bash. And uh, everyone, I mean, looking professional, good work, <laughs> shit. Um, home and away. Is home and away still on? Home and always a need out. G'day, mate. Darlo Dry. Is home and away finished? I hope home and away is finished. I hope I'm not interrupting home and away for anyone. That Apparently, that was a complaint last one. <laughs> Honestly, give me a break. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, so thanks for all the feedback. Had a few people uh, personally touch out to me, uh, send messages and that. I think I got back, back to most of you. I apologise if I didn't. Um, oh, actually, Andrew, I've got to get back to you. I've got to ring you. I said I'd ring you. Um, I've got to explain something there. But anyway, um, but uh, it was great. Great to have you on. Actually, just come on. There he is, Andrew. Uh, mate, I've got to give you a call. I'll, I'll just repeat that. I've got to give you a call. I said I'd do that. I haven't done it, but uh, I'll do that. So thanks very much for that. Uh, it was fantastic. Oh, Home and Away's finished. Good good news. Oh, good. Awesome. I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to interrupt anyone's night there, so... Not the best way to start, guys. Not the best way to start. Um, but just a quick mention. Uh, Hawaii, a champion. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. It's on the list, mate. It's on the list. I wrote a little bit of a list tonight. Uh, we'll uh, we'll work our way through that. But, guys, um, never good. Never good when um, why we have some dramas with a, a member of our community. And we're a big community. Uh, there was a bit of... I talked about it a little bit last week. And... Uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, a bit of banter going around on Facebook about how we're, uh, sometimes the sportsmanship falls apart and we, 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 uh, we aren't, sh don't show each other the respect that each other deserve. Um, but I think at these times we all come together as a community and we share, uh, our thoughts and that, but, um, I just want to touch on quickly and we won't go too much into it, uh, uh, mate. Uh, we saw the, a lot of you have seen the, the photos and the uh, uh, on Facebook and the and the tributes. But uh, Sam y Yusuf, rest in peace, brother. Uh, he was one of our community. Um, obviously, we won't go into the details, but uh, uh, very unfortunate what's happened there, mate. Uh, we wish you all the best wherever you are. Of course, uh, looking upon us, um, it was uh, a tragedy. A definite tragedy. He's one of our community. We've lost one. Um, Johnny Sharob, also, mate, thinking of you, mate, pull through, mate, all the best thoughts with you, uh, and, uh, of course, everyone is sending you the best wishes, mate, uh, and we wish you all the best, and hope to see you back on a track very shortly, but, uh, um, not, not good, not good, um, thoughts to, uh, of course, both families and all friends, uh, I spent a bit of time with these guys recently, over the last few months, and Jambo last weekend, uh, in particular, Johnny. I spent a bit of time with Johnny. Um, so uh, it's not good. It's not good. But we are thinking of you. And, uh, of course, uh, as we all get, come together as a family with those sorts of things. Um, uh, on that note also, 
a uh, bit of a trip. I was away on the weekend, um, but uh, just last week, the uh, a lot of people said good their farewells to uh, Daryl Marsh, one of our racers from up here in Queensland, uh, respected modified racer uh, and, and competition racer. Unfortunately, uh, Daryl um, uh, passed away a few weeks ago uh, in his sleep, unfortunately, uh, had a heart issue. Uh, mate, but just a great guy, just a wonderful guy. We we'll miss him. We'll miss him around the pits, um, and our thoughts uh, definitely go out to uh, Kerry and Kayla, young Kayla, um, and we wish you guys all the best. And know that uh, all the family, the drag racing family, is uh, is with you and uh, thinking of you. And um, it was great to see the tribute at Jambo. Great to have that there um, to, um, you know, give us all a bit of an opportunity to say bye. Uh, and a great, great thing from the Jambo family, the uh, Extreme Trophy from now on will be known as the Daryl Marsh Trophy. So that was fantastic. Um, and uh, we wish, uh, I mean, he'll live in, he'll live on. Daryl Marsh will live on in their hearts, in our, in our minds. And uh, as will uh, Sam Yusuf. So not, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not great, but I mean, um, we thank you. You know, we're thankful that uh, our family uh, are there to support us. When I say our family, our drag racing family, you can see how the community's got together um, this week on Facebook and uh, just wishing those families all the best. Uh, the other thing, guys, we're probably a little bit of a downer at the start with, unfortunately, but the other thing is uh, I just want to give a shout out to the Jet 275 guys. They'll be back tomorrow night, I believe, Wednesday night, tomorrow night, they'll be back on. Uh, Operation Radial Freedom back. They are back now. Look, guys, I haven't had a chance to speak to you, unfortunately. Uh, I apologise for that. I've been a bit busy myself. Had a bit going on. But uh, there's a couple of posts there about the haters. It's a shame. It's a shame. And when you're passionate, you'll get them. You'll get them. I've, I've got them myself. Um, and as much as you're trying to get around that, um, you will get them. Um... But boys, keep pushing on, man. Keep pushing on. Keep doing what you're doing. Know that there's that many, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, thousands even of people that are supporting what you do and uh, really enjoy your show. And guys, give it all your best and just do it for you. Do it for you uh, because that's what you believe in. And, um, and keep it going, looking fresh tonight. Yeah, I did get some sleep tonight. Thanks, uh, Nugget. I did get some sleep tonight. So, uh, 275, boys... Make sure you get on there tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, I think. I'll double-check on that. Guys, get on the uh, Jet275 page if you haven't already been. But uh, it's a good show. The boys will be back on. And you know what? The haters can go and eat it. You know what I mean. All right. So um, just returned home yesterday from Gladstone again. I've been up at Gladstone again. And uh, Benarabi Raceway up there hosted the uh, the Summit Racing Round 2 of the Championship. It's an 8th mile championship. First round was in um, Easter. At Easter, sorry. I had it to Roma, Iron Bark Raceway. We had the first round out there. The second round there was on the weekend, as I said. And the third and final round will be at Pelmora Raceway up in Mackay on the 5th and 6th of October. So, guys, if you can get along to that, make sure you do. Yeah, just read in the comments here. Yeah, yeah, definitely more lovers than haters. So, guys, uh, support anyone wherever you can. But, yeah, Ben Araby on the weekend, fantastic event. Uh, it's great, always great to be a part of that. I've been doing that series the last couple of seasons. It's been fantastic. Um, unfortunately, we'll see. We'll see. It might be the end of the the series uh, for some, uh, let's say, some issues that need resolving in the background uh, in regarding some tracks and that. So, uh, let's hope that it all comes together. And it sort of brings to mind that, you know, we need to get all this sort of shit sorted, let's be honest. We can't sustain the two the two governing bodies in my... in my um, in, That's totally my opinion, but we can't. I don't think we can. We need to get back together. We need to pull the system back together. We're only a small bunch. Um, we need to get it back together. We need to get one big cohesive unit before we can move forward. Uh, and when it starts affecting tracks and that sort of stuff, we need to uh, we need to move forward with that. Um, but yeah, no, fantastic on the weekend. 
it was great. There was some awesome race, and I uh, I really had a great time. Um, thanks for all those that come up and said uh, let's uh, that's awesome. Let's do it. Well done. Um, it was fantastic. There was some bloody good racing on the weekend, um, and uh, I just want to shout out and put hey, pat on the back to all those that took part. It was it was uh, it was great to commentate. It was great to watch. Uh, the crowd was down a little bit, so apparently there was another thing on in town that weekend, the multicultural festival or something. But um, guys, if you can get to a drag track, get on, find your local track, find your local track, um, and uh, get on the Facebook page, get on their website, check out their calendar, and get involved wherever you can. Uh, the guys do a fair bit of advertising up there as well, uh, radio and signs and whatnot around the town. So uh, hey, keep an eye out for the next one. It's always funny this time of season you seem to see a bit of a decline um races included um some people say in the past you know it's because oh well if, if it's a championship season this time of year it's it's um getting towards the end of it some people not aren't in the championship but really what's a championship to us i mean it's a great thing to have but uh let's just support the sport so if you can be there uh make time get the get the car get the bike out of the shed and uh go and take part uh, we want you there. We want to see you uh, doing your thing and making our sport great. I want to give a special shout out. You know what? We had 11 junior drags there on the weekend. Um, some of those guys had travelled all the way. Well, on the return trip, shall I say, from Springmount Raceway up there in um, Mariba, an hour odds west of Cairns. So massive trip. If you've ever been that far, it's a long way up. Some of those guys made the trek all the way up. Uh, and decided to uh, book it into the calendar to be at Benarabi last weekend. So we had 11 cars there in total. Uh, and what a wonderful, what a wonderful event. Special shout out. Here we go. These two lovely young ladies and the family themselves, the Wagonsfelds. I want to give you a shout out. I want to try and highlight them. Maybe that's what we'll try and do. Well, the Shaggers, uh, I don't know. I'll come up with a name for it. Shaggers highlight of the week goes to the Wagonsfeld family. And um, special shout out to you guys, young Skyler, C Junior Dragster. Um, I was just talking to message mum earlier just to double check, but she was only licensed about less than twelve months ago. Yeah, hundred percent junior bikes as well, mate. Yep, um, only licensed twelve months ago on the weekend. So here we go, first round of racing. She goes triple O light, triple O light. Comes out in the second round of racing, goes 12-12 on a 12-12 dialing. Uh, first round of racing, second round of racing, she comes out, she goes 12-08 on a 12-08. And then comes out in the final. Now, this is a final for the ages. The Unicorn, exactly, Ronnie Shaw, the Unicorn Express. Young Sky, the Wagons fell the Unicorn Express. Comes out next to sister, big sis, Emma Wagons fell. So, all, all girl final, which is fantastic. I love it, I love it. Uh, but all all family final. The two sisters in the lanes. Mum and dad are running between the two cars, like just putting in all the effort. Daryl, I've never seen, like I said, the Daryl, you haven't run that quick since the 80s, mate, I'm sure. Um, running between the two. And young Skylar, so obviously she gets the head start. She's dialed in with a, a uh, I think she was 12.08 again in the final, the dialing. She goes 002 on the tree. 002 on the tree. Young sis has got to sit there for three and a half seconds, but sees 002 and goes and uh, couldn't get the job done. Skyler got it done. Gets up there. Thanks, everyone, uh, perfectly in the speech. Gets a first trophy. Uh, Mum tells me today her target was in the first 12 months of racing to get a trophy, a first trophy. She's done it and, and did it in style. Like, that's as tough as it gets. That's as tough as it gets. So just just again, triple O light. Then goes 12 uh, 1212 on a 1212, 1208 on a 1208, and then straps a 002 light on sis in the final. <laughs> How about that one? Good stuff. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Uh, I got excited. Uh, they're not even my kids, you know, but I got excited. It was great to see and fantastic to watch. And uh, I wanted fantastic just to shout out to you guys. What a, what an amazing effort. So, guys, like I said, I don't know if that 8th mile series will happen again next year. Uh, we won't go into that just now, but um, uh, a few things going on behind the scenes. We'll see what happens with that uh, in regards to tracks and that. And uh, and some tracks need to make some improvements, uh, but maybe the timeline's a bit tough on those guys. So to make that happen, 
uh, it's not easy to do. You can't just pull money out of your pocket, uh, especially in those uh, those country tracks, those uh, regional tracks. Well, any track. Let's let's be honest. Re any track, uh, the budget's just not there to just make major improvements to places. Uh, if there's if there's improvements along the way, that's fantastic to see. Um, but uh, let's hope that doesn't affect the series next year. But at the moment, it looks like something may uh, may hurt that series. Let's see. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. I know Glenn Cunningham. I'm going to give Glenn Cunningham a shout out from Palmyra. He's a big push behind that series and a lot of what happens uh, in regional Queensland. Uh, it's birthday today too. Happy birthday, boss. Wanted to give you a special shout out. But um, let's hope uh, him and the team can push forward and uh, make let's see if we can come to some common agreement there uh with the governing bodies and that and we can work something out that'd be great to see so as i said uh that's a quarter mile facility at benarabee um but we ran as we said the eighth mile series on the weekend guys oh, i don't know about you but uh i really enjoy the eighth mile racing um and probably to some extreme i prefer it over the the quarter mile at the moment and it might be um a way to move for the sport to move forward because um you talk to a lot of people and it's it seems more exciting to me it's more exciting eight mile because it's it's there's a lot of more pressure on the start line you can't make up uh you, if, if you bomb it on the start line it's harder to make up on the other end of the track of the eighth mile uh just it's short it's sharp uh the show keeps moving quicker you can move that show quicker um perfect examples of that are currently like the of course the kender radial series up here in queensland we got the uh the big one coming up shortly in only a few weeks time um and that's the um radial right don't forget we got that coming up it's exciting to watch it's as good as it gets um and i'd like to see but i mean i'm i'm open to your opinions but that's 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 definitely my opinion some of the tracks obviously are only eight miles so that's all you'll see there but it just seems uh it's short it's sharp um and the racing's really good and uh the other thing that i'll point out too and and uh, one of the guys uh, i was speaking to one of a respected guy but i was talking to a jambo so he was saying there's a car there and i won't say who it was but he that car usually runs eighth mile. Uh, obviously, had to run quarter mile at Jambo, and just the ac extra wear and tear it puts on everything. Uh, your engine, your drive line, you know, the car itself, uh, the speeds involved, I guess, as well. Um, Steve Wilson, I can't see parts yet. That's well, that's a, that's an issue, mate. Well, there you go. We're helping you out, uh, making it shorter so you can see what's going on. But. Um, yeah, so this particular car he was telling me about, it's a fairly highly strung um, vehicle. So think about this. He was saying that so over eight mile, that thing puts about 100, 150 mils of, uh, of uh, puke into the puke tank, as we call it. Run that out to quarter mile, that same car puts nearly two litres into the puke tank. So that's how much harder that car's working. Obviously, how much more wear and tears on the vehicle how much more pressure it puts on the vehicle so uh i think i think in these times we're always looking for affordability uh in in our project in our you know in our sport as well uh to try and keep it more relevant try to keep more people involved maybe eight miles away to go the traditionalists as always say the quarter mile is real racing but you know i'd like, I'd like to hear your opinion guys um that's just mine uh or if, I love it all, don't get me wrong, but uh, the eighth mile is definitely more exciting. Uh, uh, no, mate, I'm not commentating Dylan Cogging. I'm not commentating Radio Riot, mate. We'll talk about that another time, but uh, still unable to uh, commentate at Willowbank Raceway, and that's not about to change anytime soon from what I can tell. But anyway, it is what it is. We'll work our way through that. I've got plenty going on at the moment anyway. So, give, yeah, give me your ideas. Give me, uh, send me some uh, messages. Put some comments in there, guys. Quarter mile versus eighth mile. What do you think? Um, but uh, eighth mile is definitely something that's uh, sort of uh, put a new look, put a spark, put a bit of a spark under the drag racing, and it's exciting to watch. So we'll keep seeing where that goes. This weekend, plenty going on. Uh, I've got power cruise, power cruise here at Queensland Raceway at Willowbank, just down the road from Willowbank Dragway. Uh, massive event, power cruise seventy-seven. It's technically it's four days, Thursday. 
uh, is, oh, let me have a look at the program here, make sure we get it right, I'll do the right thing by the boss, he might be watching. Um, you can get in Thursday and, I did save it all here boss, I did, I did, I did. Yeah guys, if you haven't been to a power cruise before, this is one to be, it's been plenty of interest leading up into this one. Uh, the the entries have been coming through thick and strong. Yeah, okay, so Thursday from 12 noon, uh, if you're a competitor, you you can get in um, and uh, start setting up, start getting a scrutineering done. Uh, and if you're in the camping, you can get your campsite set up, whatever the customers may be. Uh, please follow, yep, 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 yep. Yep, so set up day, basically. Friday, it all kicks off. 8 a.m., oh, the uh, accreditation and safety inspection. Safety, yep, 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 so it all happens. Driver's briefing all over, 9 o'clock, the first cruise. So it all happens from Friday at 9 o'clock. Three massive days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Make sure you're there for that. Uh, don't forget, you know, all the cruising, the burnouts, um, the off-street racing, the dyno, uh, so much. It, it, it all happens there at, uh, at Power Cruise. Make sure you're there for that. I'll be on the microphone. And it's, it's, I've been doing it a couple of, seasons, couple of years now, and uh, it's good. I really enjoy it. Something different. Uh, apart from drag racing and uh, the amount of cars just the sheer quality of cars that turn up uh, some wonderful vendors will have their their stuff there for uh, for sale and, and and you can have a look at all that gear as well so uh, and they like to support those events and uh, it's just a whole different uh, pair of crews yeah heaps of fun Crox says yeah mate hundred percent in it so I hope to see a lot of you guys there this weekend come up and say hello by all means sometimes um, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I've got a few friends there on Facebook and I don't always know exactly who you are, but I thank you for following me. If you do come up, just, just let me know your name. It might help me. I'm, uh, I'm getting old. The brain's not what it used to be. So, um, And uh, hey, come up and say hello and we'll have a bit of a chat. By all means, that'd be great. My only problem this weekend is that I had a clash. So I had a clash and it happens sometimes, of course, in our, in our sport. Um, so as I said, Power Cruise this weekend... Up there, what I considered pretty much my home track. These guys look after me fantastic. As I said, Glenn Cunningham and all the team up there in Mackay, Palmyra. They got the uh, the top bike challenge on. Um, they've got uh, Adam Layton coming up from Sydney. Benny Stevens will be there. Local Johnny Zara will be there, uh, and plus a round of their local um, <coughs> their local series. And I won't be there for that, guys. I do apologise. Uh, the guys pretty much locked me in for the whole season. It's fa fantastic. Um, I'm sorry I won't be there for that, but I can't be in two places at once as much as I'd like. Just a bit of water. A bit of God's juice. Something, like that, whatever they call it. Um, and also, Warwick. Warwick Dragway you got the six bangers. And I, I did the six bangers. I raced the six bangers a couple of times as well. Um, it's a fantastic event. It's a unique event. That's on this weekend, so uh, unfortunately I can't be there for that also, but I wish everyone there... <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm getting some good questions through here, so I'll just read some notes as I go, but... Um, six bangers on this weekend, six cylinders only. Six cylinders only, they have their normal event on the Saturday. Uh, anyone can come for that, but Sunday's six bangers only, so six cylinders. It's just a, a killer event, really good event. Um, and, and people only bring, some people only bring cars out or, or tow cars from Sydney or Victoria or whatever. <coughs> um, six cylinder cars just for that event. And you see some unique stuff, I tell you, it's, it's, it's cool. So if you, uh, can get to Warwick this weekend, maybe you can go, I'll tell you what, you can come to Power Cruise one day, you can go to Warwick the next, um, or, or vice versa, whatever your case may be, you can do both. If you're down in this region, but anyway, uh, Andrew Kazos, anything else that you have ever wanted to announce? Different sport? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Um, I don't know, mate. I honestly don't know. This is probably all I know. That's probably the problem. I'd probably have a bash at anything. Um, but uh, this is what I know. I did do that uh, the TA2 series last year, uh, which is a um, circuit racing round. Couple of dra couple of ex drag races, lawn bowls. There you go. I wonder if I could do that. That'd be all right. I don't mind a bit of lawn bowls. We we should uh, tee up, mate. We'll do, we'll go uh, barefoot bowling one night. Sounds like fun. But um, it's you know sorry. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, TA two, great series. 
Um, <laughs> Dean Ferris, there's other sports. Never heard of anything other than drag rats. Mate, it's a bit like that. We're a bit one-sided, aren't we? Oh, actually, Rob Merritt, now you're talking. I could probably do that. I'd definitely have a crack at it. Um, commentate nude mud wrestling, honestly. Let's go. But, um, yeah, so I did that TA2 series. Uh, a couple of ex-drag racers get involved in that uh, pretty heavily. Uh, Cameron Sendall, uh, Shaft, my mate Shaft was out there involved in that as well. Steve Wilson. Um, so, yeah, they, they got me out to do one event there. I don't think I fit the mold, let's just say that, um, compared to some of those guys uh, in that roundy, roundy sort of uh, world. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to put it out there. Uh, but I had a, a red hot crack at it, and it was pretty good. It was exciting. It was different because obviously, if you're commentating drag racing, you got two cars or two bikes or you know there in front of you. Whereas um, when you're doing circuit racing, there's stuff going on all over the circuit. I just did it at a Queensland Raceway there, so you can sort of see everything um, at the paper clip there. But it's definitely different in that you know you're not just focusing, I guess, down at, at one spot watching. Uh, so it was it was a bit of a challenge, but I, I enjoyed it. Um, hey, if something else like that come up, I'd definitely have a bash at it at one stage. So Portimao is the bomb. Yep, cool. No worries. Yeah, not everyone's. Uh, hey, everyone's got to have an opinion. Uh, quarter mile is the bomb. It's the speed. Mark Harris chipping in there. So, um, actually, while Mark Harris is there, good mate of mine. Uh, we'll talk about that as time goes on. Got a few things coming up. I've got a few things happening. In the background, guys, some uh, some big things, some big changes, but uh, we'll talk about that down the track a little bit further. But um, get on there, created today, the APE Pro Slammer page. Get on there. I put a link on my page. Get on there and go to the link and go and like the page there, new Pro Slammer that Mark's building up there. Uh, I gave him a little bit of a hand. With, I, I did something that I'm well qualified for, just a bit of cleaning, a bit of brake cleaner and a couple of rags. Bit of clean if you get that done. Um, engine coming shortly, very shortly, hopefully, um, to go in that and uh, start piecing that together. Testing on track very shortly as well, and uh, great to see another uh, top level car out there. So uh, always a great addition to um, to the sport. And uh, hey, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. Uh, yeah, so like I said, guys, plenty on this weekend. If you're down this neck of the woods, Power Cruise, don't forget, make sure you get out to there. Um, also, Warwick has the Six Bangers event on. And then uh, up there in Mackay, oh, guys, I, I will miss you. A um, few people hoping I was going to, uh, I said there'd be a, I'd make an announcement of the night, but uh, it's not that I'm coming up, unfortunately, guys. I uh, can't be everywhere. I'm super happy to be doing uh, Power Cruise, so I can't be there and somewhere else. Thoughts on V8 supercar Nitro up north this year. Mate, I, I saw that the other day, and I can't remember. This Andrew Case I was asking about my thoughts on the combined event, super, the V8 supercars or supercars or whatever they call them now, uh, and the Nitro up north event, which, of course, is the drag racing. So I was up there for Nitro up north a couple of years ago. I can't remember. Isn't the main straight the same, the drag strip as well? So wasn't the issue many, many moons ago is that the drags at Eastern Creek was a drama because of traction compound and blah, blah, blah on the main straight for the roundy roundies. So aren't we doing that again? No? Oh, it's not. Okay, I'm wrong. I've got no idea. Okay, there you go. I'll have to check. Inside track. Oh, is it? Oh, so the main straight. I can't remember. It was a bit of a blur that night. It was uh, a fantastic event. Uh, yeah, I got up to Nitro up north here a couple of years ago. It was fantastic. First time I've been to Darwin and that. Um, but apparently I got no idea what I was looking at because two separate tracks. Okay, cool. I'll check that out. Oh, my. Hey, um, not, nothing wrong with it. Remember the old days? Remember the uh, the Triple Challenge many moons ago? Of course, Eastern Creek down there uh, were fantastic events. They were the high, They were the uh, the big events, weren't they, in the 90s? And uh, they seem to work a treat then. Why not have another bash at it now if you can get a bit of cross-pollination, if we can get some uh, some new fans from... Um, if you can get some new fans from, uh, you know, from the Roundy Roundy Brigade, you know, there'd be, I'm sure there's plenty of people that have never seen drag racing before that go do uh, 
to uh, supercar events. So inside of the main straight, does it? I can't picture it now. On the inside, so yeah, there you go. So what was that? Is that over near the burnout pad or something? Somebody will come back to me. I'm trying to think now. There you go. Um, yeah. Hey, if it if we can run those two together, let's. Uh, like I said, we might get a, a few from either side of the. There we go. Yep. Andrew Casas back in. Yep. Cool. All right. Yeah. Hey, if that'll work, I'm happy for it. <laughs> it was a unique, unique crowd up there because I tell you what, they uh, they get pretty thirsty up there. Side by side. Yep. Cool. Um, they get thirsty up there, so it's a unique crowd. They do like a drink. They do like a drink, and it was probably the best atmosphere though. Um, I don't know if there was any issues or anything, but it didn't seem to be. But uh, just you got a good response, commentating. You got a good response from the crowd. Uh, you could feed off the energy a bit, so uh, it was definitely interesting. Something that hey, you never know. I might get a chance to do again one one time. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. Uh, I had a few other things I wanted to talk about. Because, um, like I said, I want to do some things coming up. Uh, I want to try and highlight uh, certain events. I want to try and highlight uh, races and that. So if you've got any ideas, someone you'd, you'd like to uh, see highlighted, shout out. Uh, any ideas? Oh, hey, I'm open to uh, criticism. I might have a bit of a whinge and have a cry, and then I'll come back and say that's a good idea. Nah, no, I can. Um, that's what I wanted to do. We are talking about earlier. The... Uh, I don't know what to do. No, I probably won't go into that. We'll leave it for now. All right. Uh, just pretty short and sweet this week. Um, like I said, Power Cruise this week, if you can get out to there. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, really looking forward to it. That's first thing was on you. Best of me. A loose <laughs> There you go. Um, guys, if you... Uh, it's an interesting time of year, isn't it? There always is coming up. This Lots on, but... Um, Lots going on in the background as well as, as cars prepare, uh, cars and bikes, of course, and teams prepare for the new season um, coming up. Uh, congrats to all those. From all reports, it was a fantastic event up there at Springmount a week or so ago, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we had a fantastic event at Benarabee. I'm sure it'll be a fantastic event this weekend in Mackay. And uh, guys know I'll all be uh, watching, so if you can keep me updated some way on Facebook or whatever, just let me know what's going on. That'll be great. You know I'll be watching uh, for updates and that. Uh, like I said, uh, come and see me if you're a power cruise. Get out there, have a look. Uh, make sure you slip, slop, slap. It's always pretty warm up there this time of year in particular, and it's and you get stuck out on there. On the, you get there's just so much to see, so much to watch. So. Uh, Make sure you come prepared for that. Bring a good hat. Bring some sunscreen. You know, I well, must be getting old when I start reminding you to do all that sort of stuff. But anyway. Um, but I'm going to keep you updated on what's happening on my side of the fence. Uh, like I said, I've got a bit of stuff coming on. A few changes. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and, and sometimes you just got to uh, push on. you just got to push on and make things happen. And uh, but it's exciting, it's pretty exciting. If it's good out there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to come for a ride, Adrian. Yeah, talk to me. You know what? I've done it a couple of times. Uh, Steve Grimm is another one said, mate, come for a ride. Now, I go and get my armband. You've got to have a passenger armband, uh, if you want to be a pet. That's a good thing about power cruise. If you want to go for a ride in one of the cars during one of the cruise sessions, um, you can uh, for, for about five bucks, cough up a little fiver. Go to the merchandise tent. Sounds like I'm doing the commentary already, but go to the merchandise tent. Uh, sign the indemnity form just to say you want to go for a passenger ride. Get your armband. You can go for a ride in the car. Talking to that, uh, did you see during the week up's taxi? So uh, he's tried to, he's uh, managed to get a few uh, guys over the last couple of uh, events to put their car up and, and take some uh, some patrons for rides. So uh, what he's done this year is he's actually gone out and he's built, or he's had, and it, oh, I think he built with the guys at High Talk, built a uh, VE uh, sedan. So LS, manual, uh, it's even got a bottle in the back, a bit of nitrous as well. So the taxi will be there in, uh, from what he was saying, pit one, or garage one, which is on pit straight there, uh, in the pit lanes. 
you, you can't miss it. It's got all uh, it's got all sign writing and stickers all over it. So that's the Power Cruise Taxi. Go for a ride in that. That'll be cool. That's that's a unique thing. He's always doing unique things. You can't go uh, you can't go wrong there. Um, so I reckon it's a good idea. Yeah, the wagon, mate. Yeah, so uh, make sure you get out and have a go in that. Get your armband. Get out there on track. Adrian, I might take you up on that. Like I said, yeah, I've got armbands in the past, and I've just never got to uh, get out there on the track, especially when I have a go at Eastern Creek. Maybe next time. Hopefully, you get another opportunity to do that. But uh, we'll go out with some of these boys, that, uh, boys and girls that have so much fun and and, and build these. Pu- There's some uh, serious cars, eh? Some serious cars uh, at Power Cruise events. So. Good on you, bud. Um, safe travels to all those travelling up. I know a lot of guys are coming up from Sydney um, and from all over. I know guys, um, there was guys from uh, Gladstone last week said they're heading down um, and uh, from far further afield than that uh, coming for this one. Uh, of course, the burnout guys and that, they come from all over the place for a big one like this. So um, safe travels to all you guys. We'll see you there. Come and say hello. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to a good event. It's going to be a cracker. Uh, and support support those guys that you know put on these events for you. Get out there, have a look, and uh, have a good old time. Paul Curley, good at Paul Curley on how are you, mate? Um, what else was I going to say? So that's it. Power Cruise. I think I've done that. I did my little list. I just want to make sure it covers a few things. Did I miss anything last week? Probably did. Um, all right. That's it. That's it for this week. So much fun out of it, JD. You'll love it. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks once again for everyone that had a look last week. Uh, got quite a few views. Not only those live on the day, but um, uh, we'll, I'll, I'll give me some. Actually, Seb, that's the, that's the other thing I was going to say. Send me some feedback. Give me some ideas. What night you reckon will be best, and uh, see what we can do there. Just uh, so you can tune in. Uh, don't want to clash with anything else that anyone's got on. Um, and But I think maybe this time, like I did that one Monday last week, but sometimes I'm a bit frazzled after a weekend. So uh, Monday might be a little bit, uh, maybe Tuesdays is better. Yeah, mate, I'll give you a call, Andrew. Yeah, I'll give you a call tomorrow, mate. Um, uh, sometimes, yeah, like I said, I'm a bit frazzled on a Friday night. You take... Uh, when you commentate, I mean, as much as I love it, I put that much into it. Some the day after, I'm shagged. I, I really am stuffed. Sometimes I'm a bit of a zombie. When you do a big event like I did Winter Nationals in the past, like that's four events, uh, probably 50, 50 odd hours of commentary over those four days. Four events, four days, I should say. Um, I'm a zombie. Eh? My brain is fried. Um, so it's it's quite a, quite taxing, uh, and uh, but because you put so much into it, so maybe Monday night's not the best one. Maybe we'll, we'll go with Tuesday night, see what you all think. But hey, guys, send me some messages, put some comments there. What night you think's the best, and we'll go from there, and we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Uh, if you like it, I'll I'll continue it. But I enjoy it, and uh, thanks, Mercedes, fantastic. Um, I hope Dad's back soon with that car. It was an interesting one on the weekend, but um, we'll get that sorted. We'll see that car back on track shortly. Uh, but what I want to try and do, guys, also not apart from doing a little bit Tuesday night's good. Okay, we might we might stick with that. Um, I'll try and get a, a bit of a better setup going too, guys, shortly as well. So uh, see what we can work out there, and uh, we'll try and get some people on. We might try and do that as well. Talk to some of those that uh, make up our sport. And uh, get some of the characters. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them. And uh, if we can highlight them, that'd be fantastic. All right, guys. Love is all. Uh, Once again, thanks for the support. See you if you're not a power cruise this weekend. I want to hear your reports from another track or another venue or another uh, motorsport event. Or uh, even if you're working on your your car or your bikes or whatever. Um, Shout us out. Let us know what you're doing and what is all happening. All right. On that note, that'll do me for tonight. I'll uh, I'll talk to you all very shortly. All right, Jagger out.